Hey everybody, Bobby Galley here on behalf of Bugsplat.com and today we're going to discuss how to build CrashPad. We're going to start with a quick overview on what CrashPad is and why you might want to build it. But if overviews aren't your thing, click the link in the description below to skip to the first step. CrashPad is a cross-platform C++ crash reporting system with support for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and with support for iOS coming soon. Crash reports generated by CrashPad will contain the call stack of the active thread and background threads with function names and line numbers. Crash reports will also contain other runtime information, such as the crashing device's operating system and a list of modules that were loaded by your application. Adding the CrashPad client to your application is an excellent way to determine your program's stability and to identify the issues that are most affecting your users. Let's get started. CrashPad is part of the Chromium project, so in order to build CrashPad, we're going to need to acquire a copy of Chromium's depot tools. You can do that by cloning the repository. Next, we're going to add the depot tools folder to our systems path variable. If you've done everything correctly, you should now be able to run the fetch command to get CrashPad's source. Now that we have the CrashPad source, we're going to use the gen command to generate a build configuration. If you need to pass additional arguments to your build, you can use the args command. You can use the list flag to see a list of all the available arguments. Next, we'll use the ninja command to build CrashPad. The ninja command requires that you have Xcode installed if you're using Mac OS. Similarly, if you're using Windows, you need to have Microsoft Visual Studio installed. And on Linux, you need to acquire a copy of CLang++. That's it. You've successfully built CrashPad. If you'd like to verify that your output object files contain the correct symbols, you can use the nm command on Mac OS X and Linux. Similarly, on Windows, you can use dumpbin.exe. Thanks for watching everyone. And if you found this tutorial useful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And there's also more information available at bugsplot.com. Thank you.